be here tonight, Lord God. We ask, Father, that you just saturate this place with your presence, Lord God. We ask, Father, that you just have your way tonight, Lord God. Speak through me, Father, and say whatever you would have me to say to your people, Lord God. We, we pray for the for the sons that's coming forth the rest of the week, Lord God. We lift them up, Lord God, and, and pray that, that you have already prepared them with your word, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, and anyone that does not know your son Jesus as their Lord and Savior, that they will come forth and do so tonight, Lord God. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray and we thank you. Amen. You may be seated. Go ahead, be seated. Turn with me to uh, Proverbs 18 and 21. I didn't know what you're going to say. Tongues again? Well, last time I checked, if you bit your tongue, you can't talk, can you? Has anybody ever tried to bite their tongue and talk at the same time? But it's probably what you think and maybe not what you think, but we're just going to let the Lord have his way this evening. I'm gonna, we're going to, uh, the subject uh, is coming from overcoming naysayers. Uh, Webster's Dictionary tells us that a naysayer is one who consistently denies, criticizes, or doubts. We all know those people, amen? A, a, basically, what we say can have a positive effect on somebody or it can have a negative effect on somebody. We all deal with things a certain way. Some, some people's faith may be stronger than others. Amen? You can, somebody could, we don't always have to know what somebody's going through, but you can, you can tell when somebody's not the same. Amen? And, and as, as Christians, we need to be encouragers and not discouragers. Amen? And I guess this is, this is what the, the Lord is wanting me to share tonight is, is, is getting away from all that negativity and being more positive. Because we serve an awesome God. There's nothing that God cannot do for us if we just let him have it. Amen? And a lot of times when, when, when people are, are dealing with things, and, you know, some people don't, they, they don't tell their business. Some people like to, like to share. But, but God can, I'm, I'm just going to use an example in, in the Bible. We're going to look at, uh, uh, let's look at Job real quick. Let's, let's turn to Job. <laughs> Job, the uh, 16th chapter, we're going to look at 1 through 5. We all know what Job went through, amen? Job was dealing with a lot. And, and like I said, some people have, have different things to deal with, and, and, and a lot of times when, when somebody comes along with a negative spirit, it can, it can whether, you, whether you want to or not, it can keep you down. Like I, like I said earlier, somebody can, can, can come and say something to you that can be positive or it can be negative. You can come and say something to them, but their mindset might not be, let's just say they, they, they lost their job. Two years ago, I had, I had two jobs. I had a full-time job. I had a part-time job. I lost my full-time job and got laid off on my part-time job. That was devastating for me. I ain't, I'm, I ain't going to sit up and lie to you. I was wondering where, you know, okay, Lord, what are we going to do now? The wife was encouraging. But then on the same note, calling people and asking when they want you to come back to work. Every day, she would call them, call them, call them. Okay, you know, then eventually, they called me back, put me on full time, and, and paid me a decent salary. So if, if what we're dealing with, if we, just, if, if we could just learn to let God have it. I started, I, 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 just me, myself, I started to panic, and then just the word came up in me and just said, well, do you trust God or not? Don't you know God can handle any situation? And, and if, if anybody would have came at me negatively with my mindset, I, let's, let's look at something. I, I want, I'm going to look at something. I, 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 let's just turn with me to, uh, let's look at uh, Proverbs 14 and 7. Pastor gave this scripture to my wife, and I don't know if he remembers doing it or not. But it stuck with me. It says, go from the presence of foolishness. You know, it, people think it's just because you're a child of God, you have to put up with anything. No, you don't. You don't have to sit up and deal with somebody that's talking negatively to you, and you're trying to, you're trying to, you, you, you're, on a, you're on a course. God has something for you. Somebody comes along, and that's, that's why I don't like it when parents down talk their kids and tell them they're never going to amount to anything, call them ugly, 
that that has a that has a, a an effect on them to where in their in their future it's going to affect them to where they're going to have a low self esteem. And more likely, they, they have an opportunity to go to, to go to college or do something good with themselves. They're not going to do it because they keep hearing constantly negative stuff, negative stuff, negative stuff. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to amount to nothing. This, this, this. It's always negative. The word, and, and, and God has a sense of humor. Leave. Don't you have to sit there and take it? That's what I mean. As a child of God, sometimes we think we have to sit up and, and deal with stuff that we really don't have to. If somebody comes at you, you know. We know the people that are negative. Lord knows we know when they're coming. Oh, here they come. And I'm just, and, and uh, me, and whatever I was going through, if I, if, and Lisa knows me, I, I would have hung up the phone on you, I would have closed the door on you. I'm not, I don't want to hear that. If you're not going to, if, if, if it ain't from the word, I don't want to hear it. The, the, the word tells you, go from the presence of foolishness. The word calls him a fool. When thou perceiveth not in him the lips of knowledge. We, like I said, we can, we can perceive, we know, we kind of know people. You know when somebody's coming at you the wrong way. Especially, and it seems like it, it, when you're going through something, that's when the devil just sends them out the woodwork at you. Oh, my goodness. It's like people you ain't seen in years all of a sudden come in there they tell you something negative. Well, the, the job market in Louisiana, you ain't going to be able to find you no job in this state. You're going to have to move. My God shall supply all my needs. You got to step on the devil's head when he comes up on you. Yo, you ain't going to get cured. You, what, the doctor said you, you're sick. You ain't, you ain't going to get well. My God is a healer. Step on that devil's head again. There's nothing my God can't do. Nothing my God can't do. If, 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 if let's see, somebody, a, a rocky marriage, somebody negative can come in and next thing you know they're going through a divorce. Somebody positive can come in and encourage them. 21 years of marriage. That was me at least 21 years. Rocky at first, but it, we, we, we did our thing. The, the, let's, uh, Proverbs 10 and 21, the New Living Translation said, the words of, of the godly encourage many. That means we, we, we're supposed to encourage. We're not supposed to, if you see somebody or you just, God tells you, you know, you just sense that somebody might, you know, have something going on with them. We're supposed to encourage them. We're not supposed to tell them, oh, it ain't, it ain't gonna work. Nothing, you know. It, 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 most, of the, most of the people that are negative, they don't know the word, they don't know God. And basically, the Bible calls them fools. They don't know much of nothing. The word says, but fools, oh, let me go back to it. The words, are, are the, the words of the godly encourage many, but fools are destroyed by their lack of common sense. Fools? The Bible tells you right there, fools are stupid. They just they, they don't know. Common, no, common, no good common sense. No common sense at all. I want to look at, uh, let's look at, let's look at Joseph. Go to, uh, Well, I'm just going to, I'll just say this. Joseph, Joseph had a, well, the God showed Joseph a dream. It wasn't Joseph's dream. The God showed Joseph a dream as to where God wanted him to be at or where he was going to be at, what he was going to be doing. And a lot of times, God may have showed somebody something. You may want to start a business. You may want to write a book. You may want to do something. And, and if, if God has showed you that, see, see what, what Joseph did is, is he dreamed it. He knew that it wasn't from him. That's why he told, his, he told his brothers who wanted to kill him all but one. He told his dad who rebuked him, but later thought about it and said, well, there may be something to it. See, if, if your child comes up and tells you, look, I, I want to do it. If it's, if it's something that, you know, that, that makes sense, you're, well, you know, encourage them. Tell them that, okay, they, you, can do what, you can do anything you want to do through God. God will give you the strength and the knowledge to do anything that you set your mind to do if you want to do it. If God has given somebody a dream, uh, you want to start your own business, you want to do anything, don't let, don't let, don't let uh, the naysayer discourage you from doing what God has called you to do. Because that's, that's, that ain't nothing but the devil right there discouraging you from doing what God has told you to do. But see, the thing is, we, we serve such an awesome God that he'll, he'll, he'll make another avenue for you. Amen? You may have to go through some things. Job had to go through some things, but in the end, he was God tremendously blessed him. Joseph had to go through some things, threw him in a pit, tried to kill him. But in the end, he, his dream, what God showed him it was going to be. See, a lot of times, if we just, if we let the, if, if, if we allow that negativity, if we feed on that negativity, let me say, 
it can have a, it can, it can have a, like I said, it can have a positive impact or it can have a negative impact. See, we serve a God that, that you may be going through something, but God is there with you. He's, he's, he's not going to leave you there by yourself. And whatever you're going through, a lot of times you can go through some stuff and you feel like you're by yourself. You're not. Nobody may come and say anything to you, but you're not by yourself. And, and, and you have to have the word to encourage yourself. A lot of times if you, when, when, I was, when I was laid off, once I started hearing the word and I started receiving the word again, my, my spirits was lifted. I started, you know, it's just like a, it's just like a, like a switch turned on. And we're human. That's, 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 that's what we, we go through stuff like that. People deal with things differently. But as, a, as, 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 as Christians, we need to be encouragers. Not somebody that comes and, and, and speaks negative on it. Somebody could be on the verge of committing suicide. Would you rather have somebody positive coming along or somebody, a naysayer coming along? That could end that person's life if their mindset is on a certain thing. And all of a sudden somebody comes in with, with, a, with negative, nothing but negative, nothing but negative. And then there you go. That person, that's all, that's all he thinks. He don't think there's no hope. But there's hope in Christ. Amen. God loves us so much. Yeah, you have to deal with things. Oh, Lord knows we deal with stuff all the time. Everybody goes through something. But we in it together. We in this thing called life together. Right. Amen. If you see somebody that, that, that they're not smiling, maybe, maybe something might be going on. You don't have to know exactly what's going on with them, but just, you know, it, 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 the Lord put something on my spirit the other day, and I asked my wife this question. The first time in 21 years, she actually got quiet. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Don't get me in trouble. I'm just playing. If the, if the Lord placed it on your heart to encourage somebody that you had a problem with, could you do it? You know how you, 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 you are with some people. If we all Christians, you got somebody you don't, you know, here they come. And the Lord says, well, I want you to, you know, the Lord tells you to say something to them. You ain't got to raise your hand, but just ask yourself this question. Could I do it? I'm a Christian, right? We're all one body, right? I had to think on that one myself. Uh, okay, okay, Lord, yeah, that's, a, that's a challenge right there. But I, I, I believe I could do it. If, if the Lord told me to do it, I could do it. Most people say, if the Lord told me to do it, I could do it. Most people say, no, that would be a, too big of a challenge and, and leave from the presence. I mean, that's, that's just what some people do. But that, I just, that, the, the Holy Spirit put that in my spirit just to, just to ask the body and just challenge, just to see you know, just a little mental thought there, what, what, you, what you would do. Amen? Amen. But, but, but Job says, did I finish with Job? Let's go back. Let's go back to Job. Job was, was talking to his friends here, and his so-called friends, you know how some of your, your friends are, they, when, you see, when they see you down, that's when they seem to want to, some of them, they want to they pull more dirt on you. Job answered and said, I have heard such many things, miserable comforters. Job called them miserable comforters. How many of you know miserable comforters? <laughs> you just know. <laughs> some people can make you, you can be happy, and then when you leave them, it's like they just took all you. All your enthusiasm out of you. Listen, you know, you, you done lost your smile, your joy is gone. You're like, what happened? Job called them miserable comforters. He says, shall vain words have an end? When is it going to stop? It's like negative people, they, they, they're negative is their thing. They, they can keep coming with it. They can keep coming with it. They don't know nothing positive. You tell them the, it's hot outside. Oh, it's cold. It's going to be cold next week. Um, put your jacket on. That's just, how, that's just how they are. They, 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 they're going to find something to, to complain about. Amen? Job said, I also could speak as you do. We could also do the same thing. If somebody comes at you, and, you know, you could have a negative argument. You know, negative or negative. Job says, I could speak as you do if your soul were in my soul stead. If Job said, I could say, if you was, if you was in my position, I could come in and be negative with you. But Job said, I, I, that's just not what I do. I don't, I don't, I, I'm trying to relieve your, 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 
what you're going through. I'm trying to give you some words of, of comfort and encouragement. Job called them miserable comforters. We all know miserable comforters. And it's, it's when you, it's, 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 it seems like when you, and you, everybody don't always deal with things, but like I said, you, every now and then you're going to have something that you're going to have to go through. It's not, and the, and the, devil, uh, the devil will have you think that, the, that it's God putting all that on you. That's, that's another lie that he has because he's trying to pull you away from God. The devil, he'll lie. He'll, he'll, he'll send somebody that he, one of his good soldiers to come and talk to you. One of them, one of them high paid people that just come and, 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 you know, have you, have you thinking, you know, before too long, the Bible ain't even real. If you ain't careful, if you're not in this word and you don't know what God, see, that's, that's the thing. David had another thing. David, David had, whenever he was going up against Goliath, Saul told him, are you crazy? You too, you too little. But David told him, you don't know about what God has done. You don't know about the, 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 the snake. You don't know about the, 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 the lion and the bear. See, that's what we need to tell people. You don't know what God's done for me. You don't know that my God has, has blessed me through it all. You don't know that God has healed me. Yeah, the devil might stick his head back up, but we're going to step right back on it, and we're going to keep on pushing. If You might be running for too long, but you just keep on stepping on it. Every time he pops, he sticks his head up, you just keep stepping on it. My God shall supply all my needs. My God is a healer. The devil will discourage you, and if he can, he'll have you hiding in a cave for the next 10 years. If we let him. But the word. Hit him with the word. Some people don't know what to say. Let's look at, let's look at Colossians. Colossians 4 and 6. The word says, let your speech be always with grace. It means you got to be prayed up. You got to be, you got to be prayed up. You got to know what the word says. You can't. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to, to minister to somebody and you don't have a clue how to lead them to Christ or, or, or what the word says about how they can receive their healing. And, and you, you, you got to know a little something. Seasoned with salt means you got to have the mindset you can't get impatient when you're talking to people. Somebody's, you know, somebody's going through something, they, they might have a little temper on it. They might be, you know, a little stressed. Might not want to, you know, talk about it. They might, you know, short temper. You got to know how to handle all that. Like I said, people deal with things on a different level. Somebody could have just went through a divorce, and and their mindset is, I don't want to see no male or no female. It happens. You got to you got to have the right approach to them. The word says, season with salt that you may know how to answer every man. As Christians, we deal with people on the job place. We deal with people. You can, you can be just out walking around, and you can just just deal. You just have to. We have to deal with people on a daily basis. Yeah. Everybody has their own. Everybody has their own. Uh, what am I trying to say here? Personality. That's what I'm trying to say. Everybody has their own personality. Yeah. Yeah. Some people are happy all the time. Some people just. That's just how they are. They, they, they might be nice people, but they're just grouchy all the time. I mean, that's, just, that's just something we, 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 we deal with. But when, when, when the naysayer brings you something negative, we all know that faith cannot coexist with doubt. Amen? If, 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 if doubt is in the way, then, then, then there's no faith. And you, and you just, and, and too much doubt, it's, the faith's already gone. Let's, the New Living Translation says on faith, the faith is the confidence that we have hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance without the thing, uh, about the things we cannot see. That's faith. You're going through something. You just know. You just, we just have to know that, look, God's going to work it out for me. I done gave it to him. I don't have to deal with it. I believe him. He says he's going to bless me. He's going to do it. He says he's going to heal you. Then you're healed. Walk around like you're healed. Walk around like you're blessed. 
Maybe when people come at you with that negative eyes, oh, no, it ain't going to work. They smiling too much. They, they done lost their job, but they still smiling. The doctor told them that they had this, 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 and this, but they still smiling. You know, that makes the devil mad when, you, when, you, when, you, when your joy is in the Lord and, and can't nothing stop it. Oh, the devil can't stand it. The devil does not like it. And I have to say this. Just because you're going through something don't mean God's mad at you. That, you know, the, the devil will tell you that in a minute, too. Oh, God, God must be mad at you. What you, you, you got to, you got to you, lost your job, and you, you, you're kissing all this. Job, Job went through a lot. But it was a test. God allowed it to happen. And Satan hit him with everything. And sometimes that's how the devil is with us. He, he, he will hit you with everything he can just to see can I knock them down? But the good thing is, glory to God, we can get right back up. You do not have to stay down. Negative report from the doctor? Receive it, give it to God. Laid off, maybe laid off on your job? Give it to God. God's going to, God can, can just do whatever he wants to do. You don't have to receive any negative report. Amen. Even Job's wife told him to curse God. His spouse told him. It don't get no more negative than that. That's, that's the closest thing to you. It's just your spouse or your husband. But thank God he didn't do it. Amen? I'm getting ready to, uh, to come to a close, but I want to say this. Psalms 30 tells us that for his anger endureth but a moment. For in his favor is life. Life. Life and, and more abundantly. God don't want us to walk around stressed, depressed, miserable. He went through all of it when he walked this earth. He did it so we didn't have to. So we would know how to handle things. But negativity... Ain't happening with me. I'm sorry. I just I, I ain't gonna receive it. I'm not gonna receive it. And the word says, "Weeping man do it for a night, but joy cometh in the morning." It ain't gonna last long. You might be going through something, but it ain't gonna. It's not gonna last long. That's the, that's the kind of God we serve. He's with you through it all, and it's not gonna last long. It may not be the next morning, but it's gonna be some morning. You just have to keep your joy, stay happy, keep smiling, keep praising Him. Keep standing the word. We have an awesome God who will do anything for us. Well, and a lot of times we 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 hold on to things too. See, when you when you give it to God, He can start moving for you. He can work for you. But you want to sit around? And I, I, whenever I lost my job, I was shocked. That 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 kind of staggered me for a minute. I had to, you know I had to come back to my senses. Okay, well, I need to let God have this because. He can bless me with a job. He can bless our finances. I thank God for uh, Mama Les and Madea because they, they gave us some groceries and didn't even have to. I love me some Madea, Pastor. <laughs> I love me some Madea. Sister Noran, they were they was there for us. But the devil will try to keep you down the best he can with his negativity. If God has showed you something, don't let the devil discourage you. Because that's God telling you something. Yeah. And of course, you know the devil don't like that. Yeah. He will discourage you the best way he can. Yeah. People have, have, have wanted to go to school, change their mind, don't go to school because something negative, somebody negative came along and told them, oh, you can't do it. Yeah. You get up in age, they tell you you can't go to school no more. I see people all the time in their 40s and 50s going to school. Don't tell me they can't. Yeah. I'm 48. I can't do some of the things I used to do, but me personally, I ain't going back to college. I'm, I'm content where I'm at. But if the Lord, you know, don't, just, don't discourage what God has, has set forth for somebody. Joseph's brothers tried to kill him because they thought he was just being high-minded. They thought his dreams was, you know, they thought it was him dreaming that he was going to be over everything. God had a plan for him. 
And a lot of times, God has a plan for you too. Just got to trust him. Keep encouraging each other. And don't let, don't let Satan take your joy. Because when, 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 when you don't smile, that's, 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 that, just, that takes a lot out of somebody right there. We just, you're dealing with things every day. You got negativity on the job. You got negativity here. You got negativity there. We ought to come to the church and get relief. Hear the word. Thank you, Pastor, for that word. We serve an awesome God. And I'm just here to tell you that whatever you're going through, you're not by yourself. God said he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Trust him at his word. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Don't care how bad it looks. Don't care how bad it looks. That's the kind of God we serve. Basically, the word is just to encourage the body how to deal with, with negative people. A lot of times, when you just come at negative with positive, they'll, they'll, they'll leave you alone. I found that out. Negative people, just stay positive with him. They, they won't even come your way no more. Well, he, he ain't going to get nothing out of them. They just they, they going to say what you say. They're going to say the opposite. But continue to pray for people. Continue to lift one another up. And it don't matter what you're going through. A lot of people, like I said, they don't, they don't share things going on with them. But you know, you know, we at, we, you know, you, you, can, you can tell when somebody's acting different. Give them an encouraging word. You never know. You don't have to know, you don't have to know what they're going through so you can call somebody and tell all their business, you know. <laughs> Encourage your children. To be all they can be in the Lord. We got enough going on in this world right now to where we have to stick together. Amen. Prayer has to be first and foremost. We have to pray. Have to keep praying. Have to keep praying. Have to stay in the word. Thank you, Lord, for the word. I'm going to pray. Father God, thank you. For your word this evening, Lord God. Father, we pray for everyone that is in attendance, Lord, that, that, the, that the word has done something for them, Lord God. Father, we pray for, for, for this, this state, Lord God. We pray for what's going on down south, Lord God, that, that you will heal the land down there, Lord God, that your presence will just flow through, Lord God, and that you will just have your way, Father. Father, we lift up everyone right now, Lord God, and if anyone does not know your son Jesus as their Lord and Savior, Father, that they will not go another day without him because we need him. We need you, Lord. We thank you, Father, and it's in Jesus' name we pray and we thank you, Father. Amen.